Hey everybody, Miss McKeown checking in with you today to talk to you about poetry. One of my very, very favorite kinds of writing. Right before we left school, the last time we saw each other, this is actually the writing we were working on. And I was really excited to see all of the work that the, the friends in room seven were doing. And I was hearing great things about all the friends in room eight and room 10 and room 12 and how much you were enjoying doing poetry. You are all great poets. So we're gonna continue that work here at home. Um, so what I wanna do is I made this little board with some reminders about what poetry is um, and how you should be thinking about it when you try to think of what to write about. Um, so the first thing you might be thinking about, well, should my poem rhyme? Should I have rhyming words? Or maybe no rhyming words. That is your choice as the poet. That is your choice as the writer of the poem, whether or not you want your words to rhyme or not, okay? Second thing you wanna think about right here, do not use boring words like cool or awesome, right? Room seven, we talked a lot about that. You choose sparkly words, very descriptive words, exciting words, really fun words, not just plain old words. Poetry is all about being excited and using fun things, using fun words. So sparkly descriptive words okay the next thing that you're going to think about well what am i going to write my poem about good news is friends you can write your poem about anything we had a nice lesson about looking out the window or walking outside and finding something to be inspired by maybe you see a pretty bird maybe you see a tree maybe you see a car driving by we also talked about picking something in the classroom or at this point, picking something in your house that you could write about. You can choose anything you want to write about. It's your choice. That's the best thing about poetry. You can write about a robot. If you want to write a robot, okay? You can write about a movie. If you want to write about a movie. You can write about a glass of milk. If you want to write about a glass of milk, okay? Now, another part of writing oh i don't want to write that much it's too long well you can choose your poem can be short or your poem can be long it is up to you as the poet it is up to you as the writer of this poem if you want your poem to have a lot of words or if you want your poem to only have a few words it is your choice as the poet how to do it okay and the last part of poetry make it fun when you write it you can make it funny you can read it and make it dramatic like oh hockey puck how i have missed you that's a poem if you choose it to be okay rub a dub dub a bunch of first graders at home in the tub there's another one okay again your choice one thing we always talked about is how poems can often be made into songs you can write a poem that you turn into a song you can write a poem that you read it in a very fancy, dramatic way. It is totally up to you, okay? You are the poet. You are the one doing the writing, okay? So I hope these ideas have been helpful. Hopefully you can all think of something to write. Open up a window, look outside, go out in your yard, think of something you have in your room, a person, a place, a pet, a thing. Anything can be turned into a poem. Okay, friends? So enjoy it. Share your poems with anyone you want at your house or send it to your teachers on an email or in a video, however you would like to choose, but have fun with it. Okay? We all miss you and we hope that you're doing very, very well. Okay? Love you. Bye.